Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Can we write expressions on variable? If yes, how and where can you write them? So let's go to SSDT or bids and take a look. So first of all, the variables are here. We have the variable window and we can add a new variable if you want it. So let's consider we are creating a new variable called the folder path. And then we can create another variable and this is string type and then we can create another variable called month name and this is also string type now you see that how we can create the variables and uh, I'm using SSDT SQL Server data tools so I have this uh, option here I, I, I have the tab or whatever you call it I can click here and uh, this will bring get me to the uh, variable window but in uh, old version SSIS 2005 and 2008 you will not have this tab so you have to right click here in the control flow pan to go to variables and it will open a, a variable window for you uh, the next question is can we create the expression or write expression on variable yes and how we can do it uh, we have to right click uh, or we ha actually we have to select uh, and then uh, press F4 that's where we, it will take us to the properties and uh, in the properties uh, we can see that uh, the expressions are there so that's where we can write the expressions evaluate as expression uh, th is false right now it means uh, it will not evaluate those expressions and uh, that that we need to do it if we are writing a expression here and we want to make them true like when the package started it should be evaluate them and whatever the value is there it should get that value you know from the variable by using those expression and uh, that's where we need to set this one true click on uh, expressions uh, and then uh, write whatever you need to use you can use multiple uh, variables to build your expression uh, let's consider we are building a connection uh, string for our uh, output file with the date time so we can use folder path we can use the file name and then we can add get date uh, uh, function and extract the date part or date time part from it so that's how we can write that uh, expressions uh, on the variable and then use that variable maybe in the connection uh, string uh, here in the we go to expressions of a connection manager and then use that variable in the expressions as well for connection manager uh, what are common usage? I, there, there are the tons of places you will be using uh, or writing the expressions on the variable uh, to build your uh, complete path for an uh, archive uh, file. Uh, you need to move some file from a source input folder to the output folder. You want to add date time to it. You want to build that connection string and use uh, in maybe file uh, system task. Um, one very common example we don't have month name, uh, uh, month name function in SSIS so we can create a variable uh, called month name and write the expressions to that will be evaluated to the month name uh, and then same thing we can do day name day name is also not here in SSIS uh, we can uh, write expressions on a variable and get the day name and we can use these variables maybe creating the files uh, archiving the files uh, with the month name or day name or creating the folders with the month name so different things can be done so uh, yes uh, we have the option to write expressions on the variables and those val values will be evaluated as true if we will set that to true uh, in the properties and then uh, uh, moving forward uh, we can use those uh, variables anywhere in the package uh, as long as uh, uh, the scope is set to the package level for that those variables uh, and if it is set to the data flow level or whatever then we can use uh, that variable according to the scope it is set to thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video